Should you get jacked or rich first? Now on the surface, this sounds like a perfectly legitimate question, but it's not. It's actually the wrong question to be asked and you might be wondering, especially right now, if you have no money or you're not jacked or you're not in shape, hey, no judgment from me because not so long ago, I was in that position, I had no money, I had no muscles, uh, I was just a skinny fat broke kid who was broke and depressed and on medication and really had no future, the, the, the future wasn't bright for myself. But I've had a few guys message me asking, you know, what should I focus on first? Should I focus on making money or should I focus on the gym and getting jacked? And that's what this video is about because it's not the right question. It's not the right question. And what that reveals to me is kind of a faulty belief system. And if you think in this way, if you think in so kind of short term, lin lin linary, binary, I think is the word I'm looking for. If you're thinking like that, let me tell you right now, you're not going to go very far in life. Okay. So that's what this video is about. Now, it's not your fault that you think this way right now, because this stuff just isn't taught in schools. It's not taught in schools, but it is, this information is found available online and my life looks completely different now because of videos like this. I was able to build my body in the gym and I was able to build my mind primarily by watching uh, personal development YouTube videos like this. Okay. So let me tell you a little bit about younger James. Okay. I used to train, uh, you know, quite hard. Say if I'd have a holiday coming up for like 12 weeks, I would train really, really hard. I would do everything perfectly for 12 weeks. Then I would go on holiday and I would just not train at all. I would just, uh, you know, just go into holiday mode where I would just eat all the time and uh, go out drinking every single night. And all that hard work that I just, you know, suffered and sacrificed for was just undone in the matter of a week or two week holiday. Okay, and another story with about money this time is you know when I got when I got to Bali okay so there's been times in my life where I've had no money and I've spoken about this in in previous videos okay I've had zero pounds to my name and then uh, I found uh, software development and I was able to uh, you know go self-employed with software development and scale that up to a point where I, I, you know, I was making about 20k a month. Okay, so, so I'm making 20k a month. I get, I've, I've come to Bali, okay, and that is like during lockdown, Bali's cheaper than it is now as well. That's good money. That's good money. And I kind of just got comfortable. I started going out. I started partying. I started having late nights. I started hanging around with the wrong people. Hanging around with some questionable people. I stopped developing myself. I stopped re reading books. I stopped doing the things that got me to where I got to and I just stalled. I didn't progress at all. I didn't move forward. I didn't learn new things. I didn't earn any more money. Uh, my physique didn't really get much better either. And I kind of just plateaued and I just stayed stuck at this point for quite a while. Okay. So the whole point of this is it's not like you can just do a bit of work get to a certain point and then chill. Okay, the whole point of like being a top 1% man, which hopefully you want to be, if you're watching this video, hopefully you do want to be a 1% man. If you do want to be a 1% man, right? You're going to need a six pack and you're going to need, well, a lot more than six figures, but absolute minimum. If you're like broke right now, and if you don't have a good physique, the absolute bare minimum, step one is a six pack and six figures. Okay, that's the absolute minimum. But to be a top 1% man, it's not like you can just do a bit of work and then just stop. It's not like you're just going to make a little bit of money and then just chill. It's not like you're going to do, uh, get in the gym, get a six pack, and then it's going to be job done. You don't have to do anything. It's like, it's, it's a commitment for life. Okay. It's something you do every single day. All right. So what this, if you're thinking, oh, should I get rich or jacked first it's just a faulty belief system it just means you're thinking short term and you're thinking about the finish line before you even set off and i can just tell you right now you're not going to go very far thinking like that okay and a phrase that i always like to say to people is if you can't build a physique how do you expect to build a business if you can't build a physique how do you expect to build a business because fitness teaches you so much about business okay because you've got to learn how to 
have a plan. You've got to learn how to follow that plan. You've got to learn how to show up every single day. You've got to learn how to remain consistent. You've got to learn how to do things when you don't want to do them. You've got to learn how to be strict with yourself and consistency and discipline. And you've got to learn how to uh, learn how to learn, you know, learn how to teach yourself, learn how to do various exercises because no one can do it for you. And that is one of the great things about physique is it's like the ultimate status symbol. You cannot buy a good physique. It has to be earned in the gym. Okay, and I don't care how much money you've got. If you're fat, in my eyes, you're not successful. And it's the other way around. I don't care how ripped you are. You can be ripped to the eyeballs. But if you're broke, then you're also not successful either. So I think st like a bare minimum for a man is he should have muscles and he should have money. Okay, guys? Um, and really, to get jacked, it doesn't take up much time at all. Like We're talking like one hour per day. One hour per day to get jacked, if you do everything right, that is. If you put in the right actions, if your training's on point, if your nutrition's on point, uh, if your uh, sleep and lifestyle's on point. By the way, if you need some help with this, uh, you can hire me as a coach. We can work one-to-one -to -one together. Send me a DM on Instagram or X and we can chat, see if we're a good fit and uh, yeah, can potentially help you out with that. But if you do all the right actions with regards to your uh, like training and nutrition, you only need to be in the gym maximum one hour. You could probably do it in 40 minutes. So including your travel time to and from the gym, you're looking one hour out of 24 hours to get jacked. That means you've got 23 hours left to get jacked, uh, sorry, to, to work on your business, to get rich and do all the other stuff that you need to do, okay? So there's literally no excuses. If you can't spare one hour for your health and your fitness, then just forget it, just forget it. You're just not gonna go anywhere, okay? And it's not like you need to get super jacked either, okay? You don't need to have muscles popping out your eyeballs, okay? Like most, most people, uh, most girls, like if your motivation is girls, they don't even care about that stuff anyway. It gets to a certain point when you get uh, so, you get further ahead in the game of fitness and building a physique that the only attention you get is from other guys. It's not from girls. So you don't really need to, to uh, get that, um, that muscly, okay? You don't need to get that much and you can easily do it in one hour per day, okay? And getting in shape, it's more mental than it is physical, okay? Because if you convince the mind, the body will follow. And it's just about believing in yourself. And the negative thoughts that you have are your biggest barrier to getting fit. And also, this works for money as well. Like, getting rich is more mental than it is physical. You convince the mind and your life and your business will follow. And it's all about believing in yourself. You'd like your negative thoughts are your biggest barrier to getting rich. And this is why I talk about fitness is the gateway to success. This is why if you learn about fitness, you will learn about life and you'll learn how to get rich. And to be honest, it takes much longer to get rich than it does to get jacked. So why not just do both at the same time? I am... Um, you know, I grew up, um, I grew up with like a scarcity mindset, okay, where it always had to be, oh, this thing or that thing. There was never many choices, never many options. And now I try and think with an abundant mindset and I believe I can have whatever I want. Whatever I want, if someone else has already done it, then I can do it too. And I have that mindset. So you don't need to have the scarcity mindset with where you're thinking, oh, I can only get jacked, or I can only get rich. You can do both, okay? And you've got to do both. If you want to be a top 1% man, you have to do both minimum, okay? Six pack and six figures is step one. <laughs> and that is just step one. Like, that is literally baseline. Like before a six pack and six, six figures, you are literally at step zero and you've just got to get to step one. And if that sounds like uh, daunting, which by the way, you know, me, my younger self, when I had no money and I didn't have a six pack, that would have, that would have sounded extremely overwhelming and it might have actually like uh, knocked my confidence a little bit. But now when I look back, I was capable of so much more. I was just thinking too small. Like for me, 10K a month was the goal. I thought if I could just get to 10K a month, I'm going to be sweet. If I can just get a six pack, if I can just see the lines coming through, then yeah, yeah, I'm gonna look good. But having those thoughts, I thought having those thoughts was a good thing because it was realistic and it meant I could achieve them. But all it meant 
it happened is I wasn't thinking big enough, so my actions were too small, and then when I got there, I didn't really like go go past it. You know, I was just thinking way too small. I was limiting my own potential. I am um, could be so much further ahead right now if I was just thinking bigger. If I was thinking 100k a month and like eight pack, for example, you know, I would be much further ahead right now if I just had um, that in mind. Even if I hadn't achieved that, just having that bigger goal would have been uh, far more beneficial for my rate of progress, okay? So I've limited myself, okay? I'm, I'm not perfect. I'm not even trying to say I'm not perfect. I don't have all the answers. But one thing I know for sure is that 10K a month is not a lot of money and a six pack is the absolute bare minimum, okay? A six pack, it's, and it's not, it's not, oh, you get a six pack and you and girls just love you and, you know, life's just amazing. It's, it's what the six pack says about you. If you see someone who is in shape before they've even opened the mouth, okay, you know that person is a disciplined individual. You know they're able to control certain portions of the diet, that they, they have self-control. They, are, they have consistency. You know, there's so much that it says about a man who is in shape. And that is why women like men who are in shape. They don't necessarily like the muscles, although a six pack does look good, especially if you're not too like muscly and stuff like that. It looks good, don't get me wrong. But women are attracted to the mental side of what having a good physique gets you, okay? That's what they're interested in. And I just want you to know that it never ends. It's not like when you get to 10K a month and you get a six pack, it's just that, you know, you can just chill and that's it. Like it, as soon as you start chilling, like what happened with me is that's when you just, you know, you get into all kinds of trouble. Like maybe it's partying, maybe it's video games, maybe it's gambling, you know, like I feel like men always need to be striving towards something, whether it's building a family, whether it's building a business, whether it's, you know, working on some kind of project or helping people or, you know, doing something, I feel like men have to have a purpose, otherwise they're just dying a little bit inside, okay? So it's not like you can just get to 10K a month or you can just get a six pack and that's it, job done, chill. That is the fastest way to just basically start dying. Like, uh, there's no other way I can describe it, all right? So, and once you get to that point, you know, your priorities change a little bit. Like for example, myself right now, I'm probably, I'm probably like 10 or 9% body fat, okay? If I get to like six or 7%, it's really not gonna change my life that much. I might get more clicks on a thumbnail. I might get more likes on Instagram. Um, I'm not really gonna get any more girls in my DMs if I'm, if I'm a little bit leaner. Maybe, maybe I would, but it's really not gonna make that much difference, okay? So me getting further ahead in the fitness is not really going to change that much. But if I was to, you know, make, uh, if I was to make a hundred million, for example, well, my, li my life would look pretty different, or would it? Maybe it wouldn't, actually. I I'd have a bigger house, okay? I'd probably have a, a, a bigger car. I don't even have a car right now, but if I had a car, I'd probably have a bigger car. I'd probably have a bigger bike. Um, I would still be going to the same gyms. I would still be living here. Uh, maybe I might travel a little bit more. Um, to be honest, my life actually might not look that much different, okay? But the point is, you get to a certain point and, you know, like, getting getting past that is not really going to help you. Like, to get to 6% body fat, okay, you've got to diet, you've got to lean, and it you've got to suffer. And that affects your quality of life. It affects how much energy you have. It affects how productive you can be. It affects... Um, just overall, just how much energy you have and how happy you are, okay? But when it comes to money, like, and it's the same with money as well, like once you get to a certain threshold, and I don't know what that threshold is, and I think it's different for everyone and it depends where you live and stuff like that, but once it gets to a certain point, it's not like more money is gonna change anything at all, it doesn't. So, but if you have none right now, that is the goal. The goal is just to get a six pack and six figures it's like it's 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 basic stuff and i and i know it some some of you like watching this are going to be disheartened but don't be don't be disheartened because you can do it if you have the if you're still watching this video right now which by the way a lot of people quit videos by this point you're still watching this video right now you're still able to understand the words that i'm saying 
You have everything you need to be able to change your life around. No one else is going to do it for you. I'm sorry, I can't do it for you. You have to do it, okay? And you have all the raw materials. You have everything you need to be able to turn your life around. But you've, like, you've just got to do the work, okay? You, you can't just watch YouTube videos and your life's going to change. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. You've got to put in the actions required, okay? And you've got to start something new, potentially. That's what I talked about in yesterday's video. And it's, it's not your fault because it's not like this stuff is taught in schools, you know, and I honestly think it's, I think it's on purpose, to be honest, you know, I, honest, I honestly believe society wants you fat and sick and poor and easily controlled, do as you're told, pay your taxes, live a mediocre life, and we're just going to extract you for your human resources so, you know, the people at the top can, can, can do whatever they want, okay? And we saw with the events in 2020 about you know what, there was rules for or some people and then there was different rules for other people right you know what i'm talking about so they don't teach you this shit in school but a six pack and six figures is bare minimum it's absolute step one and if you're not there yet your only goal is to figure out how do i get in shape and how do i um get to 10k a month for example and it's not because those two things it's not because of the muscles and the money it's because of what you're going to learn and the person you're going to ha have to become to be able to get those things all right guys um you can do it like you can have both it doesn't have to be one or the other you can have both you can you can actually have whatever you put your mind to if you're willing to put in the work i've never ever ever in my life seen someone go all in 100 percent all in and fail okay i've never seen it if you want something bad enough, you will figure out a way. If you want it enough, you will go through and you will research and you will struggle and you will just figure out, you know, what you need to do and what you need to learn to be able to get what you want, all right? So I've never seen someone go all in and fail. So, you know, what are you waiting for?